Everybody and welcome back to another episode of Geeks and Grounds. It's your friend, your homie, your girl, <laughs> Mary Lou, aka Lou Beasy on the track, aka Self Play Champagne Shorty, aka Inosuke. I don't know how to say his last name. And today we are going to be making tempura from Demon Slayer. Make that shit look easy. easy. I'm cooking all the things that you see on your TV. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Shaking, baking, flipping, whipping, sauteing. I could do it all, and I stay. You see how sharp my knife is? Peas, which are high in vitamin A and riboflavin. Riboflavin is really good for you. Riboflavin is amazing and it helps keep your demon slayer muscles ready. <sighs> Chef Mary says, when fighting demons, it is important to carbolize. Thank you. I put my squash in the microwave for about two minutes to soften it up. I can't just throw it in the, I mean, you can just throw it in the fryer if you want to, but I don't think it'll turn out the way you want. So, so soft, microwave two minutes uh, using your microwave Hashima. And that's it. Tell me. I don't know if there's a bead. Now we're gonna get all those shrimpies and to get our shrimp straight. So get the little cuts in the back. Little baby cuts, all right there. And it's straight. And them out, push them down. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, so now we're gonna make the sauce. And you know, I like a little bit of heat, so I'm gonna use these Thai chilies. I'm using a variety of like red and green, ripe and unripe, ripe and super ripe, and all the way ripe. Like, you know, different age groups of chilies. Put up. Peach sauce, water, sugar, and true one. Fork, because that's how my mama taught me. I could drink this. Oh, there's the heat. Get one egg, cup, and three quarters of flour. Quarter cup of cornstarch. A little brate tata. Okay, now. It's a lot of soda water, but my roommate had a party and I got a white cloth. So, <laughs> Woo! just like that, we have five. You're gonna take each of your ingredients and you're gonna drop them hoes inside of the flour. You wanna put them in flour first because you want them bad boys completely dry. That way your tempura sticks to it perfectly. Once they're all perfectly coated, you're gonna drop them inside of your oil that should be at approximately between 325 and 350 degrees. This gives maximum crunchitude. And these are the crunchies! Now I'm gonna get one of my favorite spicy seasoning blends. The one I'm using is from Momofuku. And then I'm also adding in some of that true citrus lemon oh, yeah. so I get a little more of that <laughs> acidic <laughs> flavor. Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Gigs and Grubs, and we'll see you next time.